Even though I love good oats and made hundreds of videos about it, I still use Unity for my personal and work projects. This has reasonable reasons that we will be discussing throughout the video. My idea isn't for you to switch completely from one to other, but to share my experience I had in both engines and why I decided to completely focus personally in Unity. My point of view I'm sure will be valuable. Let's start. Reason number one, lack of tutorials. It is no surprise the fact that the information that you can get in basically one search in YouTube about how to create a game with Unity, you will have much better and much more results than if you look the exact same term but for good old. And the reason why is quite simple, Unity has been existing in the market and has been able to position itself as one of the best engines like literally more than 10 years ago. And on the other hand, Grout has just been used, let's say, professionally or in a, a larger scale in the past 2-3 years most. Three, uh, even four years ago, Grout actually didn't have a huge impact on the game development industry, even though there are Nowadays, much more tutorials, much more content creators making videos about Godot. I believe that the information that is out there may not be as much as there is with Unity. Actually, it's not something that I believe, but something that is a fact. Try it literally yourself. Go to YouTube, look for any kind of game that you want to create or how to create any mechanic. Look for it in Unity, look for it in Godot and compare the results, both the amount and the quality of them. Again, this is quite understandable. So basically what it happened when I wanted to do something in Godot, of course maybe I could find a solution in some kind of forum in the Godot documentation that by the way is quite quite good or in some kind of tutorial, but maybe I would only have like one tutorial, one, two options. But on the other hand, in Unity, literally you can look for any mechanic, any game and probably you will find maybe three, four, five options at least that you can have and this can really help you understand learn and use the engine much better when you're a beginner you i would say completely rely on tutorials and information out there on the internet and as i as i have been explaining good old information may not be as much as the one that you have if you use unity so basically if you are a beginner and you use a good old and you want to look for tutorials and you don't find much tutorials or as much and with much quality uh, information out there probably you will get stuck and with Unity, I'm sure that that won't happen. Of course, it doesn't mean this doesn't mean that you can't learn without or something like that. There are still good quality tutorials and a considerable amount of tutorials that you can take a look at. Whether if you want to learn it, um, if you want to improve it, if you want to include any kind of mechanic in your game. But the point is that the amount and the quantity of them probably is quite surpassed by the amount and quality that you have in Unity. Also, you don't always completely rely on tutorials just when you are uh, in the beginning, but well, the beginning, I would say that is the most tough part. When you are starting to use something, it is quite difficult. So there, the facility that Unity provides by having tons of information out there is just magnificent. Reason number two, not lots of jobs. Again, let's try to search for any kind of good old related job. Probably you are not going to find much, even just one single opportunity. Of course, I am referring to, let's say, formal jobs in some kind of company, in some kind of studio, or even trying to work with some particular clients. This again is quite related to the lack of tutorials issue. Many, many companies have been using Unity since it's existed and since it was started to be used in the industry that was something like 10 years ago or something like that. So of course, why would a company change completely its workflow? Why would the company uh, teach the developers a brand new engine that only has like two, three years since it was like officially used in the industry. So of course it will be worthless. That is why most companies still use Unity and probably they are not going to change it. So basically if I wanted to apply for some kind of job or even if I wanted to send my service of game development to some client, basically the client will tell me I can't work with Godot because it is more difficult to find Godot developers. Also, I don't trust so much without because it is not owned by the company, so I don't know what could happen in the future, etc, etc, etc. And in general, clients trust much more Unity that is a worldwide known engine than without, as I told you, just from 2-3 years ago, it didn't really exist or didn't have as much impact in the industry as it has today. 
of course you can still completely sell your games uh, as an indie developer in any platform that is uh, something that is um, quite uh, obvious but well of course uh, being able to uh, doing a living for your own indie games that you publish yourself make yourself etc it's much more difficult than just working at a company or something like that now what do i miss about without as i told you i really love without that's why i make videos about it i also think that there should be more content creators about without because probably in something like two three years it could even be like the new unity basically what do i miss about without probably the first thing that i miss is basically its easiness this uh this uh, includes its programming language and the node system because even though for example c sharp in unity is not a big deal the programming language JavaScript script that we don't use is just magnificent it is amazing how easy it is to use how easy it is to understand modify etc and also because it is based in python it is even better okay as I told you, as a beginner, I was able to catch JavaScript script quite, quite easily. And then when I switched to Unity, it was a little bit difficult to actually understand at all C Sharp. So I would say that its easiness is one of its key points. And of course, its node system is, again, quite an amazing feature that we don't have. Although the game object system that Unity provides is quite good and works perfectly, but a node system, I just feel that it, it makes everything feel much more organized and much easier to modify, etc. The second point is basically the speed. This includes, for example, opening and creating a new project. Unity takes something like one minute or even more than that to just open or create a project. And on the other hand, you can create an open project in without something like three seconds, okay? Then that is speed. Uh, you can also see, see it when you want to compile a script. If you change in Unity literally one line of code, you have to wait until the script compiles and that takes something like three, five seconds. And in without you don't have that wait time or well it actually exists but it is so so low that you can't even notice the third one is basically the open source nature because you don't depend on any kind of company so it is impossible to have something happening like it happened with unity with a runtime fee the fourth one will be to have an in-engine code editor basically this will this may sound quite silly but this really avoids having multiple windows open and it makes the process much more straightforward when you are starting out and finally the fifth would be the constant updates that without is always receiving so you always have something new to try out and you are never bored of the same stuff now was all this change worth it yes definitely because the two main reasons why i switched from grow to unity were completely solved unity has tons of tutorials tons of information out there so reason one was worth it then in terms of the second reason that is not lots of jobs unity has much more jobs available much more people that is using it so you are able to find uh particular clients much faster than if you were using good so uh i even started to get unity clients um so once again reason two was worth it as well therefore personally switching was beneficial for me it doesn't mean that it's it it would be beneficial for you as well it really really depends on your situation in what your goals are in what your games uh, consist on that you create etc so to wrap it up even though i love Guido and its unique features like the easy programming language speed open source nature in engine code editor and constant updates i have decided to focus on unity the main reasons are the abundance of tutorials and job opportunities in unity which have significantly benefited me both personally and professionally switching to unity has proven to be worth it as i have gained access to more resources and clients my aim isn't to convince you to switch completely but to share my experience and why unity works better for my needs it doesn't mean that it's going to work for your needs as well anyway thanks a lot for watching if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next one and bye bye